Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on piloting the camera. This is, uh, took me a long time to get my mind around this, but we end up with something like this. If we come in here and we hit play, we end up with a shot like this. Now you might have thought you needed a drone or something like that to get a shot like this, but you can actually just pilot the camera in and no extra rigs are even needed. You can actually get a lot of shots like this just by piloting the camera. So it's good to know how to do it. It's not really that complicated. Don't ask me why it seems complicated, but I'll just go ahead and start from scratch real fast to show you. This won't take very long. We'll go into third person and go create. I'm going to save that. I'm going to be doing a few tutorials on the camera rig coming up because there's a new camera rig and I'd been learning it for a while and I felt like I just learned the old one and then a new one came out so but I want to start with the old one first and then kind of work into the new one and go over some of maybe the pros and cons of it. I think you can do a lot of the same things with the old rig but the new rig is maybe just more convenient in some ways. Newer is not always better I guess is what I'm saying. So to get started with this we're just going to get a character in here to film so we're going to go into animations uh, let's just get Quinn here and just drag her right there and I'll put her in a little bit further. I'll hit the space bar and I'm going to turn her 90, 90 degrees. That's 100 degrees. Yeah, there, like that. Okay, now before I start, there's something that I want to go over with you and this is a basic control and it took me a long time to figure this out. But if we're navigating the scene, I'm just right now, I'm just pressing W and I'm holding down my right mouse button right now. So see, I'm flying around. So I've got two fingers involved with this. My left hand's on the keyboard and my right hand is on the mouse. So I'm fully occupied right now. Fortunately, I have one finger. <laughs> I have one finger left and that is a good one to have. It's my index finger on my right hand. And if I go to the scroll wheel, now if I hit S, let's do it this way. I'm gonna go backwards. I got my, my what is it, my middle finger on the mouse button. I'll go forward. Now, if I turn the scroll wheel forward, I can go faster. If I scroll backwards, I can go slower. It's very important to learn to navigate that way, but it's a little tricky, right? Your left hand is on the W button. Whoops. Let me navigate the scene here. Your right hand is on the right mouse button, and your index finger is either moving the scroll wheel forward or backwards. That's a very important to get good at using that navigation because that will help you with piloting the camera that controls. So right now my hands are fully occupied with my left hand on W and my right hand, my middle finger on the right mouse button. And then my my index finger can moving the scroll either for backwards or forwards, backwards or forwards to control the speed. So with this setup, I can basically go anywhere in this scene and I can control the speed. I can, whether I'm going up or down, up, down, through walls, faster, slower. If I had S, I can go backwards. So just get comfortable with that con those controls because once you do, that's how you pilot the camera, the exact same controls. So that just in itself is a skill to know. Now we can talk about piloting the camera. So to do this, all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go in the content level, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go to cinematics and we're gonna get a level sequence. This is really a key part of Unreal Engine, this level sequence. It really is at the heart of so many things. It's tied to so many other components, very complicated. But let's double click into it. This part is some of it's deceptively simple, but thinking it's surprisingly complex really, really fast. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make this a longer scene. So I'm gonna hit control and on my scroll wheel, I'm gonna scroll outward or backwards and then I'm gonna get this red bar and drag it out about that far and then I'm gonna go to this icon right here this camera and just simply click it and it's gonna create camera cuts I've already done tutorials about this but basically when we go to render out you just got to click that one but to pilot our camera we need to click this one and it has our cine camera actor there we can see with this thunderbolt that means that this camera spawned in it only temporarily exists as we're using it in the scene it's not permanently in the scene it's just in the scene as we need it for filming, and as soon as we're done filming, it goes away. But if we come here to Aperture, notice there's an Aperture over here on the Sequencer 2. If we hit 22 on this, you'll notice it changes over here. 
So now everything will be in focus at the aperture of 22. So we don't have to worry about focus. That can be modified or animated at a later date. And the same with our focal length. We're not interested in those right now. So all we're gonna do is a simple 480 frame shot flying in over the wall. And I'll show you how. And notice up here in the left corner that we're in pilot mode. If we click that, that will eject us into back into the perspective mode. So now what I'm gonna do is I want, also want to make sure that we stay selected on this Cine Camera Actor. And I want you to look at these values over here because this shows where these six values show where our camera is in 3D space. It's orientation, yaw, pitch, and rotation, and it's X, Y, and Z values. Now, if we hit this and this, it's going to put us right on the axis point of the scene itself, which is right there, the origin of the scene. And so if we... If I hit S and go backwards, and I can go up too by hitting E, but let's say I'm gonna go come, I'm gonna scroll out here a little ways. There's our scene, right? And you notice as I'm moving in the scene and I'm navigating, you'll notice these values are changing. So one tip trying to better control your camera is we don't want to zero out these settings because it's going to put us right back there. But here we might want to straighten that out so our orientation is straight. Now, as straight as I try to fly from this first initial key point to where the mannequin is over that wall, it may not work out exactly right. I'm not sure why that is, but we're going to make it a we'll make it a keyframe adjustment to fix that. Okay, so then the first thing we're going to do is get in the habit of using these controls over here. Don't click and drag this thing. It's not so precise. This is very precise. So if I click that, I know I'm at the very first frame. And then you want to make sure this thing is on, that auto keyframe is on. And then what we're going to do now is we are going to create a keyframe, our first keyframe right here. And you'll see it come in there. And then what we'll do is we'll hit this button here, go to the end. And now all we have to do is fly as we would with those controls I was showing you at the beginning using WASD keys, flying slowly, hopefully. It's better to fly slowly so then you have maintain control to our final resting stop where that mannequin is. So now I'm just going to hit W and fly. I'm going kind of fast, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm using the scroll wheel. And I just want to fly over this wall and down to where the mannequin is. And it looks like it kind of was jerky how I got here, but let's see, I'm just going to get in closer, but it's going to be smooth when we play it back. So now we see our keyframe there. So now I'll go back to the first frame. We'll hit play and we'll see what, what, it, what, it, what it recorded. But see how it doesn't, it's not following exactly the path that I flew in. And I'm looking at these values over here. I'm not sure. I'll end up at the mannequin, but... I'm not following the path that exactly I took. Okay, so what we can do to fix that is we can actually just drag this back here a ways. And then we're going to create a keyframe right here in the middle, right there. And then I can come over here on the Z and let me just raise up here because I think I'm supposed to be up a little bit higher. And maybe a little bit, I can actually even just drag the keyframe itself and go up a little bit higher. I think I want to be higher. And let's see if that gets us clearance over that wall. So I'll hit play and we'll see what happens. And it looks like it's going to clear the wall. Maybe not. Cutting it close. Yeah, I didn't quite clear the wall there. So what I'm saying is you can go back and adjust these keyframes. So maybe I come back to this spot here. Or I can just go back to this keyframe here. And let me just come up a little bit higher. Like that. And go back and hit play. And then you can see how we basically can get a nice smooth flying in shot without anything special other just using our natural player controllers WASD and then we come in that's pretty close to what I wanted right there just like that yep and then we're done and then all we have to do here is just hit that 
icon there and you can render all this out pick a folder and a speed and pick a folder here turn that off you can just render it out as an avi file just to see what it looks like and that's it so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care have a great day and i will be posting some tutorials this week on the rig the the rail rig so until later